Welcome, Magus. Thank you. Yeah, so, okay, let's just start from the top. Cloud, I mean, it's, we, uh, it's one of those, again, one of those topics that are technologies that people know about it, you hear about it, but then when, the fact that we work at NASDAQ, we're like, okay, wh what exactly are we doing here with it? So maybe just start from the top, like what exactly is cloud technology and why should we care about it? Cloud technology is uh, basically, instead of having our own data center and taking responsibility for our sort of the, the setup of, of hardware, configuration of networks, et cetera, we basically outsource that to someone else and, um, and do that with greater scales. So, uh, so, when you, uh, so what you can do, uh, uh, what you achieve by doing so is certainly you can accelerate mm -hmm. and much quicker get access to your compute than your hardware. Mm -hmm. And the other good thing is that you can basically say that you have uh, uh, access to infinity data storage. Mm -hmm. and, and what's have happened in this industry during the last few years is certainly the, the need to, to, to compute or to bring compute and data together. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to have all that storage locally in your data center, it's going to be super expensive. Mm -hmm. But certainly if you can use instead a much more flexible infrastructure for storage and then bring your application closer to that data, mm -hmm. you can certainly both compute quicker and compute cheaper. Right. So what's the difference I've heard about like a, a private cloud, public clouds, what, what, are the, what does that exactly mean? Yeah, no, that's a good question. So I think in, in general you can say that you want to have the elasticity of the infrastructure. And what, what I mean with that is that it's not just that I have one server and then suddenly a second server. You want to have much more flexibility in your access to your compute. So that's the kind of the cloud paradigm of, of how to operate, the, the flexibility of getting access to, to compute or storage. The, the public versus private is more where it resides. So it's the public cloud is typically the Amazons, the Google, the, the, the Azure cloud, and that is then provided by these parties. And, and, uh, uh, and private then means we use the same paradigm where we try to use the infrastructure that exists mm -hmm. in our data centers. I see. So then I guess at NASDAQ then we've got the different business units. Where are we seeing the most applicability right now for cloud, would you say? We're certainly you, uh, in, in uh, corporate solutions. Yep. We have uh, tried out cloud. We've also been a, a I would say, long-term uh, user of cloud within the GTMS business for data storage. Okay. So our revenue management system within GTMS is running in cloud. Mm -hmm. but you can say the, the key importance there is the the uh, access to uh, to storage, mm -hmm. to cheap storage, and also the the, the opportunity to run uh, compute on on, on, on uh, calculations on that data. When it comes to our more mission critical solutions, we haven't really come there yet. Mm -hmm. But with the um, build out of cloud infrastructure and also the maturity, plus the fact that we're investing in building platforms that are kind of cloud agnostic, mm -hmm. uh, we now are coming very close to that we, we can deploy our mission critical solutions in cloud. Mm -hmm. We're already doing that from a, I would say, um, uh, dev and R&D perspective right now, right. but we're not that far away from actually being able to do so also in real production. Mm -hmm. Do you think like just amongst the different kind of big technologies that you hear out there, blockchain, machine intelligence, cloud being another big one, it, it, how, how are like the, what, are, what do the regulators think about cloud? What, what's kind of what you're, what do you think on that? Yeah, no, it's, it's a very good question and I think with adoption of new technology, uh, certainly regulation have to have to also come along, so to say. And sure. I think they have a lot of, of certain concerns around privacy, uh, the stability of cloud itself, and then also security and data breach and so on. But I think the the main concern, at least, so say outside the, 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 the US region where we have most cloud infrastructure, I think it's more the, the location. And a lot of countries don't have cloud infrastructure yet, but that right. is, quickly shifting. So, and also from a security standpoint, I think it starts to become, uh, I think people are starting to learn that maybe cloud 
is actually more secure than, than, than your private infrastructure because we're pooling together a lot of resources to ensure mm -hmm. that these cloud infrastructures are secure. So, right. Yes, we regulators going to need we, we're going to need to help to address that, and and also the cloud providers are investing quite heavily to ensure that that uh, there are programs in place to sort of say help both regulators and governments etc. to be to feel good about placing data in cloud. So then, what would you say then for for Nasdaq? Like, what's what sort of end game for 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 cloud? I mean, what would be the I mean, we've done a few different projects yep. along the way. Like, where where do we see? Where would we like to get to potentially in terms of cloud adoption? We won't. I think we're going to be at the state where, uh, within within say the five plus period, where we actually we run a lot of our our compute in uh, or our systems and solutions in cloud. I think what's important to to say though is that it's going to be a gradual adoption. So what's it's called typically hybrid cloud, which is a combination of pri private and public. Right. That's going to be a very important model. And an opportunity then for a client and for us to say, oh, this workload should run private and this due to some regulation or something, and this is actually going to run in cloud. Mm -hmm. And that is also a key part of NFF to have the, uh, of the Nasdaq Financial Framework and our, our, our core platform there is actually to to provide that abstraction, mm -hmm. so if if I want to deploy either in in on prem or uh, in cloud, mm -hmm. that we will be agnostic to that. I and see. Okay, interesting. All right. Well, that's yeah. That was it. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank yeah. you. Rewrite tomorrow. <laughs>